Hey, what's up everybody? Thank you so much for coming back for another video. And in this video, before I get started, I hope that you and your family are doing well, staying safe. And this video, I'm gonna be talking to you about how you can digitize your brush lettering and calligraphy work very easily in Procreate and show you a bit of my process and how I go about doing it. So with that said, let's get into the video. So as you see here, I have a piece that I did by hand on paper with a brush pen. And the only thing I did, I took a picture of it on my iPad and the way how I brought it into Procreate. So in Procreate, as you see here, let me use my pencil, it gives you, which is like a wrench. So you're just gonna tap the wrench icon and then you just hit insert photo. And then you just go to wherever you have the photos at on your iPad. And there's two ways that you can go about digitizing your lettering. So, and when I say two ways, there's one way that you can do, you can use just the regular pen and you can go around. Let me show you an example with the P. As you see there, I made the mistake of drawing on the layer with the photo. So make sure that that is a mistake that you do not make because it is so aggravating whenever you are working on a piece that you took a picture of and you're trying to bring more life to and you have to redo it all over again. That right there, that is one example of how you can go about digitizing your lettering. And really all of that just depends on what your end goal is. So you can go through and do the rest of the letters. And another thing that you can do is you can do it this way. You just make the document a bit bigger depending on the size of your iPad and then whoops you will just go through your brushes and choose which one that you like and that fits your overall goal and you take the same approach taking that approach look at the different character characteristics that you got from the brush that you use to compare it to just tracing it and get some nice textures different overall feel to this piece compared to just tracing it with your desired pen of choice. And there is one more way that you can do it. So let's say you don't want to use the studio pen. You can actually use, let's say, I'm going to use a gritty brush pen. You can still trace it the same. Am I on? Okay, I'm on a different layer. You could still trace it so you get those nice expressive textures for another 
feel to your overall peace. And I've had a lot of fun doing pieces this way. So I'm not gonna do the whole word. So we do. So as you see here, you got all of this that is bleeding off of the letter. What you could do, you get your eraser tool. I use a studio pen and sometimes I have the streamline up to help me or other times I would turn it down. And you're turning it down, gives you a little bit more freedom. You're not so constrained. Missing a little bit is okay. It does not have to be perfect. And now, as you see, this gives a totally different look and feel. And it's a lot more fun. So you can just come in with your Apple Pencil and Make it a little bit neater. Also, you can maybe even show a little bit of imperfections, which there's nothing wrong with that. This is done by hand, and there's nothing wrong with it looking like it was done by hand. All right, that is it. Y'all let me know what your thoughts are below. Did this video help you out a lot? And I will see you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching.